Thank you very much for participating in Dufferin County's public consultation related to its official plan. This is a section on infrastructure and specifically road access on highways. Highways being Ministry of Transportation highways, but really county roads. That's what we're looking at through this presentation, county roads and how we are accessing them. My name is Brett Sears. I'm a senior project manager in transportation planning and science at a consulting firm called WSP. WSP has been working with the county on this official plan on multiple aspects. And I'm here to present today on this aspect of road access on highways. We recognize that Dufferin County is forecast to receive a number of new people and jobs in the next 30 years, 100,000 people and about 40,000 jobs in the next 30 years. We wanna make sure that we are proactively planning the road network to accommodate the future growth and to enhance safety. We would love your comments on this in the context of the official plan. Given that context, the county is currently preparing a transportation master plan, which goes into more details on the county road network. We recognize that there are a number of documents out there already, such as the geometric design guidelines for Canadian roads that the county already uses to guide the planning and design of county roads. And that a road safety plan could be prepared by the county to further enhance safety for all modes of travel on county roads. One thing that we do want to put on the table as a recommendation is for the county to regularly prepare a transportation master plan to identify transportation infrastructure. And that could be for multiple modes. If you're walking, if you're biking, if you're traveling by car or truck, even if transit is on county roads. At present, the county municipal comprehensive review process is underway. And that includes this transportation master plan. And that plan is expected to be open for comments uh, later this year, being 2023. The geometric design guidelines uh, already exist for Canadian roads, and the county is already using those. We need to make sure that the county has that as policy so that the best practices are applied consistently across the county. And the county plans to conduct a thorough evaluation of the current roads and the entry policies to implement a, more safety measures for new developments on county roads. There are good guidelines and standards out there today that talk about how many access points could be on a county road, the spacing between those access points based on the speed of the road and other factors. We want to make sure that these are policy across the county to help ensure safety and to have a safer and efficient movement of people and goods on county roads. A road safety plan can incorporate specific measures uh, regarding road safety that can be implemented and enforced. The county plans to conduct further evaluation of road traffic data and use the data to inform the development of a road safety plan. The county has a program already in place to collect how many vehicles, be them cars and trucks, are using the county roads. And these data can inform a future road safety plan along with people's input, collision data, and other information to help form a comprehensive plan for the county. The county will enroll strategies used to educate drivers and pedestrians, cyclists, about road safety plan, and will include com the community uh, and help to benefit how to reduce collisions. The county certainly wants, the county already has a road network in place that is safe and is looking to make it even safer with this specific plan on road safety that can address items regarding the growth in the county, both in people and in jobs. Best practice to make sure that the road network is as safe as we can make it and accommodating all modes of travel. Thank you for listening to this presentation. This ends the presentation on road access on highways.